inspired action versus action. The dangers of waiting for inspiration. Discover the difference between action and inspired action. Why your feelings are not to be trusted. How to tell if you are in alignment and how to get inspired. A lot of spiritual entrepreneurs often have a certain viewpoint about taking action in their businesses where they won't take action unless they feel in complete alignment with that action. And I hear a lot of people saying things like they wake up in the morning and they ask themselves what they feel like doing today. If they don't feel inspired to work on their businesses, they just don't work on them. They only take action if they feel in complete alignment with that action. And that might mean that months might go by without them ever taking action on their businesses. And I've got to admit that I have struggled a little bit with that attitude as I've never really had that viewpoint myself. And I've done a lot of thinking around the concept of taking inspired action. And I have my own beliefs on this topic that I am going to share with you today. Today, you will understand the difference between action and inspired action. You will discover when listening to your feelings is not a great idea. You will uncover the dangers of waiting for inspiration and you will understand when you are in alignment and you will find out how to get inspired to take action. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. And I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So let me ask you a question. Are you at the moment avoiding taking action on your business because you just don't feel in alignment? Are you struggling to know what alignment actually feels like? And are you wondering how to get inspired to take action? So let me know what you're struggling with. Leave me a comment on my blog, YouTube channel, or send me a DM on Instagram. I love to hear from you. So let's change your struggles into solutions right now. Do you want to know how to get into true alignment with your purpose, get consistent results in your business and feel inspired to take consistent action on your business? So what's the difference between action and inspired action? We all know what action is. Action just means that we're doing something, anything. So for example, that might mean we're creating an Instagram post, we're replying to an email or we're writing a blog post. Inspired action is taking action based on inspiration. Inspiration is a prompting that comes from spirit. It means in spirit, inspired. It is a feeling that you should do something and you really need to take some kind of action. So what does inspired action feel like? Inspiration often feels exciting. It feels like the right thing to do. It feels like you can't not do it. It feels inevitable that it is going to happen. Whereas just taking any old action might feel like it doesn't matter whether you do it or it might feel boring or pointless, but not necessarily. And as spiritual entrepreneurs, we want to come to our businesses from a place of inspiration because we know that being inspired leads to a win-win scenario for everyone. If you have inspiration from God or the universe, it probably means that you're on the right path and that you can't fail. You're going to manifest your desires and you will be helping people along the way. So acting on inspiration or being in alignment with your actions is always a great idea because you are going to be in flow. You are going in the right direction. And when you're on that path, it often feels a lot easier and much more enjoyable. You feel like you have a purpose and you're living your truth. There is no greater feeling than to be acting in alignment with your destiny. So all of this sounds lovely and you might be thinking, well, of course that makes sense to only take action when you're inspired. And here's where things can get a little bit tricky. There is a problem with waking up in the morning and asking yourself if you feel like working. The truth is that a lot of the time, 
if we ask ourselves this question our gut reaction might be to say no and there might be many reasons why we don't feel like working today and these reasons may be coming from a negative or positive intentions but there can be problems with both so some of the more healthy or the more positive reasons for choosing not to work today could be that you had a bad night's sleep or you are feeling tired and you want to rest and recuperate and pamper yourself or perhaps you've just had an invite from a friend to go out for lunch and you're way more excited about that fun lunch date than sitting at home on your computer or maybe you are still in the beginning stages of your business and you haven't really figured out what your niche is yet you've been writing blog posts but you haven't really been excited about the topics just yet so you are going to wait for a more exciting idea to come to you before writing any more blog posts and these can all seem like very positive reasons for waiting to get into alignment at first glance but i'm going to share with you why they might not be as positive as you might think in a minute there can also be a lot of negative reasons for waiting to get into alignment before you take action and it can be much harder to notice why these can get a little bit more destructive at first glance say for example you feel inspired to share a particular message with the world and you really know it could help some people you really want to start doing live streams but you're terrified to go live and you tell yourself that because you feel negative about going live you're not yet in alignment with that action so you're going to wait until you are or perhaps you're really inspired to share your message but you keep comparing yourself to other people you keep feeling like other people have done a better job of sharing a very similar message and therefore you shouldn't even bother you can't possibly compete compete and if you feel like this it obviously isn't aligned otherwise you'd be feeling totally positive about that action but the problem with all of these scenarios is that you are relying on your feelings in a particular moment to determine whether or not you should be taking action in that moment and although feelings can be a helpful sign to us and something that we should pay attention to paying too much attention to our feelings every single second of the day can steer us completely off course the problem with feelings is that our emotions go up and down all the way through the day one minute we're happy the next minute we're sad the next minute we're angry one minute we're confident the next minute we're scared should we always depend on our feelings to determine whether or not we should be taking action in any given moment i think that it is a very good idea to notice how you are feeling and why you are feeling that way but then take it to the next level and ask yourself what you really want what is your core desire do your feelings align with your core desires and if not how can you overcome your feelings so you do take action that is aligned with your core desires and your core desires are high level desires that should remain true all of the time regardless of your feelings so for example a core feeling could be that you are a helpful author a helpful speaker or a helpful entrepreneur if your core desire is to help people by selling them products and services that help them to transform their lives then that is what you need to remain true to have you made a commitment to being that type of person and doing that type of work and if you haven't made a commitment that might be why you're not seeing the levels of success that you desire so making a commitment is one of the most important things that i do in my businesses to bring success to me if you don't make a commitment you have one foot in and one foot out of your business at all times successful businesses are based on co-creation with you and with the universe or with god so why would god bless someone with success if they are not committed to their cause being committed doesn't mean that you have to hustle and work crazy long 16 hour days on the contrary it can mean that you only work three hours a day like i currently do and the great thing is that you get to decide but you have to make that decision if you've made a commitment 
how often have you decided to work or what task are you committed to completing each day have you decided that you are going to write for one hour every morning to finish your book have you decided to respond to your customers email inquiries every day or have you hired someone to do that job if you have hired an assist an assistant to do that job are you committed to answering your assistant's queries every day to enable them to do their job in the best way and when you commit to your business you go all in and you don't make excuses for yourself and it doesn't mean that you can't run your business on inspiration but the question is no longer should i do any work at all today it changes to what work can i do today or this week or this month or this year that is really going to help people and what content will really speak to people what content do i feel inspired to share so instead of your question about inspired action being should i work or should i not work today your question about inspired action should be what inspires me today do you see the difference and I'm not saying that you should never take vacations. I think it's very healthy to take time away from your work, but it's so much better for your business, for your team, for your customers, your friends, your family, and for yourself, if you plan this in advance, then everyone can prepare for it, which means that you can truly relax and enjoy your vacation and you get to have something to get excited about in advance. And I'm also not suggesting that you don't take time off your business if you are really sick. Of course, if you're sick, you should recover and look after yourself. But on a normal day-to-day -day basis, if you are leading a healthy, balanced life every day and you have the odd bad night's sleep or you wake up feeling a little bit demotivated in the morning, there is nothing unhealthy about working when you feel a little bit tired or a little bit demotivated unless the problem is something bigger, unless it's a bigger issue and then that would really need to be addressed. So the dangers of waiting for inspiration before you take action are as follows. Number one, your customers will be disappointed that they are not getting good service from you and you might end up with bad reviews. Number two, your followers won't trust you to provide consistent content for them and they will stop following you. If they don't trust you to create content consistently, they also won't trust that you will be there for them if they become a client and they will resist buying anything from you. Number three, you won't trust yourself to be consistent in your own business. And if you don't trust yourself with the action, you won't trust that you are worthy of the levels of revenue that you desire. Number four, God won't trust you to take action because you haven't already proven that you are consistent so you won't get so many good ideas. God will give you, give you good ideas if you prove that you are consistent and if you are not consistent God will give those good ideas to someone else and you won't get any. Number five, you won't trust yourself to manage money consistently and therefore you won't attract more money to you. Number six, you don't actually recognize what inspired action is and what is not inspired action. It's hard to tell a difference without consistently taking some kind of action because you've got nothing to compare it to. Number seven, you don't relate your actions to your core desires and therefore you will not manifest your core desires. If you don't trust yourself that you are who you say you are, you will stop being that person and you will give up on your business. So if you stop believing that you are a successful entrepreneur because you've simply stopped working on your business, then you're going to give up on that business and you won't be that successful entrepreneur anymore. So how to tell whether you are in true alignment with your core desires. If you're struggling to decide whether or not to take some action in your business, ask yourself the following questions. Number one, if I take this action, am I being true to my core desires? Number two, what will be the consequences if I don't take this action? Number three, how will I feel after taking this action? Number four, 
is this an action that does have to be done to keep my business going? Number five, is it definitely me who needs to take this action or could it be done by someone else? Number six, if I take this action, will I feel better about my business than not taking the action? Number seven, will I have more of a sense of what inspires me by taking this action? Number eight, will I feel differently while I'm in the process of taking this action? Number nine, is there a different way to get the same results and do a different action instead of this one? Number 10, is there a deadline for taking this action? What will happen if I miss the deadline? So how to get inspired to take action? Motivation to act comes from our core desires. If we see ourselves as successful entrepreneurs, we will work on our businesses. If we see ourselves as runners, we will go for runs every week. If we see ourselves as healthy, we will choose to eat healthy food. If we see ourselves as writers or speakers, we will do those activities on a regular basis, at least every week, but often every working day. So who do you see yourself as? This needs to be the starting place when it comes to taking inspired action. If you have a desire to be a successful entrepreneur, but you're not yet being that person, then taking any action at all on your business is the right place for you to start. You are going to feel a million times better about yourself if you take any action that aligns with your core desires rather than taking no action at all. Only once you have established a habit of consistently being the person that you decide to be should you take a look at the type of work that you are doing. Once you've shown commitment to being in line with your core desires, here is a technique that I use to get massive amounts of inspiration when it comes to what type of work to do and what type of content to share. I start every single morning with my ask technique. Ask, A-S-K, stands for, the A stands for the word ask, the S stands for superconscious, and the K stands for knowledge. Ask superconscious knowledge. It means that I tap into the universal superconscious knowledge by asking for inspiration every single day. This is a prayer that I pray every day. I say, God, my desire is to be a successful entrepreneur and to help other people to become successful entrepreneurs. Please show me what I need to do to align myself with you. And then I do a very short one minute meditation where I am just quiet and listen to my thoughts. Sometimes thoughts pop up during this minute that are related to work. And sometimes I get random thoughts like I need to take some food out of the freezer, which obviously has nothing to do with business. But I believe that the act of showing God that I'm committed to listening to his guidance, even just for one minute a day, shows that I'm ready to hear and act on the inspiration that he gives me. Then all the way through every single day, I am literally flooded with thoughts and inspiration about what actions to take in my business and what types of content I could share next. And I have so many ideas and I literally never run out of inspiration. I've got a bank of content that is just growing massively every single day. And then I take action on the ideas that I feel are most exciting to me. And I don't work overtime. I work the hours that I've set for myself and I keep going with my tasks until they are done, even if it takes weeks to get them up and running, as long as I still still feel in alignment with them. And I literally never run out of inspiration. And I believe it is because I have shown commitment to showing up every day and being willing to take action based on the ideas that I have. So what if you don't get any inspiring ideas? If you start following my suggestions and you are not getting any ideas that you find inspiring, I still believe that you should keep taking action. Take any action at all. Go and watch a video or read a book or, and then make some notes. Ask yourself if you agree with the message that is being shared. Why do you agree with it? Why don't you agree with it? What have been your own experiences on this topic? Do you have your own story around this topic that you could share? 
Once you've answered these questions, you have enough ideas to go and share them in your own content. You are now bringing your own unique message and unique delivery style to the world. The world needs you to show up and be yourself. And the world needs you to get inspired or do it anyway. So now that you've learned how to take inspired action, you might be wondering how to vibrate at the right frequency to bring your manifestations to you. And this is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure that you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. And while you're waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Get my free lesson where I walk you through my complete process of creating content that converts. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this lesson free for a limited time because I'm testing different lessons. So grab that while it's still available. So until then, go and put your stamp on the world.